This portion of the video will demonstrate the examination of the lymph nodes in the head and neck. So for the lymph node exam, under normal circumstances, you generally don't feel any lymph nodes. They may be present and very small, but again, normally we don't feel them at all. So it's actually very important to know that you're palpating in the correct location so that you know that you're feeling the correct nothing, if nothing is the normal exam. So the first thing you want to be able to do is general inspection of the head and neck area, looking to see if there's any masses uh, that are visible to you. And if that's the case, you also have to make sure that you have the entire area exposed. And this goes down all the way to the area of the supraclavicular lymph nodes. So we need to make sure that we lower the gown to the point where I can actually see the clavicles so that I can see the whole neck area and see if there's any masses. Once I've done a brief inspection, and then I can go forward with the palpation. The next part with palpation is to make sure you're using the correct technique. Um, frequently, the biggest mistake we'll see people make is when they're doing the palpation, they will just sort of crawl down the area. Uh, you're not actually getting a full palpation of the area. You're only hitting small spots, and you're not getting a good feel of the lymph node if it is present. So you want to make sure that you use a slow rotating motion and glide down the area where you're palpating the lymph nodes. That way you can feel them and you can get a good feel of the lymph node if it's present. Finally, for most of the lymph node chains, they are symmetrical and you have one on each side and you can do the palpations of them together, um, one hand on each side of the patient. There is one um, example where that is not the case and I will get to that when we get to that lymph node chain. So now we have to make sure we catch all the different areas of lymph nodes. So the first ones are the ones up in the head. So we have the preauricular lymph nodes, which are anterior to the tragus and the ear, approximately the same location as the temporomandibular joint. So a slow rotating motion there. The next is the posterior auricular, again, just behind the pinna of the ear. Next, we have the suboccipital lobes, excuse me, suboccipital lymph nodes. So if you could turn your head to the side for me so I can demonstrate the location. They're here at the base of the skull at the area of the occiput. Lift your head back up so I can just reach behind the patient and rotate just below the occipital bone. Next, we have the lymph nodes that are in the area of the jaw. So we have the submandibular lymph nodes, which al run along the ramus of the mandible. So palpating up under the mandible. And then the submental lymph nodes, which are here at the tip of the jaw. So then we have the lymph node chains in the neck. The two main chains that we describe are the posterior cervical, which are behind the sternocleidomastoid, but they can start up near the base of the skull. So you start up near the base of the skull and rotate your fingers palpating down posterior to the sternocleidomastoid. You want to make sure you catch at least three locations as you're palpating down that chain. Next is the anterior cervical chain. This is going to be sort of anterior to the sternocleidomastoid. Another important structure that's there is the carotid artery. If I'm palpating on both of those locations at the same time, and if you have an older individual, I'm actually putting pressure on both carotid bodies and carotid sinuses at the same time that can affect the patient's hemodynamic status, cause their blood pressure and heart rate to drop, and cause them to pass out. So in older adults, you generally want to make sure you do not do both of these at the same time. So to be safe, just palpate them one at a time. So I can do the anterior cervical on one side, again, using the same motion in at least three locations, and then the other side. Finally, we have the supraclavicular lymph nodes. These lymph nodes don't drain, generally, objects in the head and neck. They're more um, from the thorax and abdomen, but they're in that location, so generally they're palpated around that same time. They're just superior and deep to the clavicle near where the sternocleidomastoid attaches. So again, here I'm just going to press down deeply on either side in a rotating motion, feeling if there's any masses or lumps. Was there any pain or tenderness in any of those locations? No. no. Thank you. That completes the lymph node exam of the head and neck.